Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It was a memorable day for Curtis Ashford and his family. The General Hospital recap for Tuesday, January 24, 2024, sees Curtis receiving positive news from his doctor, even if everything did not go as planned. In this episode, Brooklyn also opened out to Chase, while Tracy and Gregory enjoyed a moment. Jordan had quite the story to tell as Anna worried about her pal. In addition, Finn expressed his feelings, and Scott offered Lucy something to ponder about. Now let's delve a little deeper into the details. The Ashfords were on edge as they waited for the doctor to deliver Curtis, Donald Turner's test findings. Curtis maintained an optimistic attitude and even sought encouragement from his family. No matter what the doctor said, he was going to be oak, and nothing could stop him from living his life. Finally, the doctor arrived and started his examination. The doctor poked him with a pin, and while nothing happened to his left foot, his right foot felt it. While this didn't guarantee he'd walk again, it offered everyone hope. Previously, Trina was concerned about Paris, she spoke it out with her mother. Portia was nothing but supportive, even though she was traveling with Spencer. Meanwhile, TJ was worried not only about Curtis, but also about his mother. Anna showed up looking for Jordan. They hadn't seen her since the day before, when she received her hot tip. Thankfully, Jordan arrived unharmed, just as they were ready to call the cops. To TJ, she dismissed it all as part of the investigation, However, when she was alone with Anna, she acknowledged to being abducted by the FBI and urged to back off. Strange, right? Even stranger was when the agents gave her a talking to and then abruptly backed off, sending her home. Anna offered to help figure everything out. Finn and Liz were also present at the hospital. She encouraged him to attend a NA meeting and deal with his stress and emotions, which he did, she also had the opportunity to discuss her own through conversations with Portia. Brooklyn and Chase spent the entire time practicing axe throwing. The LQ was really good. Her trick. Pretending that the aim was Lucy's face. This odd admission cleared the path for Brooklyn to tell Chase everything that happened at deception. Lucy attacked Tracy, and BLQ will not tolerate it. Her current mission is to take Tracy down— Chase did not like the sound of that, but he liked the idea of getting intimate with his fiancée later. Lucy and Tracy were still at the restaurant, playing their clever little pranks. Tracy lost a day when Martin confronted her about her obsession with Scott. He was so irritated with her that he followed her into the ladies' room and demanded explanations. When she refused to give over the information, he stormed away and refused to take her calls. Scott did an excellent job as a double agent, which was not difficult given that Gregory distracted Tracy by approaching their table. The trio made small chat until Gregory's health began to deteriorate slightly. He excused himself, citing heartburn. Unfortunately, that became the least of his troubles. Gregory didn't get out of the building before his body locked up on him. Tracy approached him in the hall, persuaded him to sit down, and guided him through this event— then she contacted Yuri to take him home. Scott hurried to the ladies' room to speak with Lucy. He discovered her making frantic calls to Martin's voicemail, pleading for his forgiveness. Of course, in classic Scott manner, he saw this as an invitation to be a big old flirt. When Heather Weber bears her soul to Laura, how will she maneuver the situation? General Hospital spoilers for January 24, 2024 include a celebration— a meeting of minds, and a possible breakthrough. Don't miss this episode. Essen's two most powerful protectors gather for a meeting of the minds. On one side of the table sits Heather Weber, her biological mother, who lately attempted to assist old Esm in painstakingly planning her revenge. However, it was a lengthy game, and Esm is not a long-game type of gal. Meanwhile, Laura has been a new Esm protector since Spencer's ex had a kid and developed amnesia. Laura assumed the two were meeting since Esm made a beeline for her mother when Nicholas stole his son. It's always a delight for Heather to speak with PC's most regal citizens, such as Laura. 
The question is, will she use what she knows to taunt and manipulate Laura? Will she tell the full truth, or just the truth? Sometimes a truth hurts more than falsehoods. Essen's next destination on her desperation tour finds her with Dr. Kevin Collins. He apparently puts on his shrink cap to speak with Ace's mother. So is he trying to persuade her not to burn down a Port Charles B, the world or C, all of the above? So, whatever he's saying might be working, he appears to communicate with his niece, as implied by the teasers. If Essen wants her retribution, her targets will most likely be in the same location, because Curtis is organizing a bon voyage party for Spencer and Trina. It's likely that Ava will be there to say farewell to her friends slash mentee and ex's son. Hopefully Curtis or Ava have arranged for additional security. Will Curtis' party go off without a hitch, or will it erupt in flames? This is the week for GH characters to wait for their outcomes. Curtis recently received his results from the experimental procedure, Christina is almost ready to obtain her pregnancy test results. Is the ideal realized, and will the first time be all they need to have a baby? Or will they be forced to start over? Finally, for such a sophisticated guy, Spinelli gets a lot wrong, particularly when it comes to Maxie. You see, he believes Cody is interested in her. In his defense, he hasn't spent much time around Cody. How would he know about Cody's thing with Sasha? If you've fallen behind on General Hospital, Soap Hub can help you catch up on everything going on in Port Charles. Every weekend, we post a weekly update that informs you of the most important events that occurred and helps you understand where the program is currently. What role will Ace play in the GH reunion? Nicholas has returned to General Hospital, and he is currently preoccupied with Ace, the son he has yet to badly mistreat. But there is still Ava Jerome. Yes, they were divorced at the time of his death. And yes, Ava played a significant role in his death. However, there was a lot of unfinished business between them. As in the romantic sense. Could they be drifting back towards one another? Nick didn't just hook up with a teenager. It wasn't just that Nick imprisoned the pregnant adolescent. An angry Ava beat Nick over the head so hard that I thought she had murdered him, and then covered his body, until it went— so what we're arguing here is that too much has happened for these two to ever see each other in a positive light again. On the other hand, when they initially married, these two had a good sense of who they were. Yes, they had ulterior purposes, but they weren't unaware of one other's flaws. They were into it anyway. Eva is aware that Nick struggles with fidelity, and the truth, the reality about loyalty. Nick knows Eva can't stay away from crime. Furthermore, the crime is being covered up, which is frequently another crime. So, if he can deal with it about her and she can deal with it about him, why don't they keep being criminal liars and cheats together? The saying goes that only the good die young. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.